What's going on YouTube? I'm Scotch. And I'm Sniff. And we're Scotch, Scotch and Sniff. Sniff. And today we're gonna be talking about fruit bombs. Like totally amazing different Juicy. kinds of scotches that just bring Pear. the fruit. Pear, Pear apples. bombs, apple, a lot of kiwi, different kinds of structure and things like that. The good tasting stuff. Complexity. So, would you like to start us off? Starting off, actually we'll start off over here with the Dow Winnie 15. This bottle here is just an amazing value and, and juiciness for what you get. You get juicy apples, green tart, Granny Smith apples, and then heather, which is a complex flavor to really think about. Um, but heather is kind of like, it's this wispy, grassy kind of when you're off in the knolls and you just, you feel the breeze coming through and wheat and you can kind of build your own sense around that, but that's Heather. And then there's a, like a sweet kind of like oaky roundness, it's delicious. Weird side note on this one, I think I'm the only one of all of our friends who was tasting this that one night, but uh, banana. Oh yeah. I get banana. bananas out of it, it's really banana. delicious. Up next we've got the Glenfiddich 12, which is from my favorite distillery. I have to say, Everything you could ever want from Glenfiddich is in this bottle. Just uh, the rest of their line is just about age or the rest of the line is about weird little different flavors or things that they're doing with it. But for the most part, it's apples, it's pears, it's delicious, it's fruit, it's sweet. It doesn't have any peat, which is amazing. It's It just tastes fantastic. Yeah, I remember that there's like this classic kind of wispy smoke oakiness that comes along with the Glenfiddich line that kind of goes throughout the entire, just like what you were talking about, how they're all the same. They keep a great family like house style, but then they increase with age and oak and more spice or more this, but this one is definitely fruit all day long. Yep. And moving on to fruit all day long, the Glenlivet 12. This one is kiwis, tropical fruits. It's amazing how you put you put whiskey, something that has no flavor really, into something like oak and just the kind of complex flavors that you'll get from that. Some some people say that there's a little bit of coconut in here, but I mostly get the kiwi, uh, fresh tropical fruits. It's, it's very juicy in your mouth. Not a huge fan of the Glenlivet here because, I don't know, their line, I think other brands seem to do a better job of distinguishing the differences between each of the ages and the offerings that they have with the same distillate. But for me, I know you like the Glenlivet, but the Glenlivet for me personally, it just doesn't touch what the Glenfiddich does. Um, next up, we've got Bren, which tastes like, if you're looking for an alternative to the Yamazaki 12, because you love that bubblegum sweet, just absolutely, it smell, it tastes like it smells kind of deliciousness. This is this is definitely it. This is definitely, an, uh, a, it's on the sweeter range of everything. If, if you're a scotch person who, who really likes a sweeter scotch, um, it's complex, but complex in sweetness. Uh, a lot of these other ones are very oak forward or have a lot of wood sense that, you know, and you could probably use it for cologne if you wanted. <laughs> this one is more just like, it's an easy arrival. People who don't like scotch will generally like this scotch, um, or not scotch, but whiskey from- French whiskey? Yeah, French whiskey in cognac barrels. Yeah, um, but it is very bubblegummy. This is the kind of whiskey that I would put on the rocks. Um, to really kind of like open up the flavors to bring more than just the sweetness. Yeah, so our final last one is the Balvany 12 year old single barrel. Um, this one is very unique. It's only in one barrel and this bottle usually around they'll have uh, anywhere from like 250 to 350 bottles within one barrel and it just picks up these unique characteristics. There's uh, an intense creaminess with this one also with a lot of like fruit and musty pear definitely complex interesting flavors so the balvany single barrel 12 is this anything like the regular 12 does it have that honey that just balvany has become known for or is this completely different it's completely different uh the balvany double wood that you're talking about of the classic line is more just like it's oaky it's it's nice it's a nice entry level oaky round kind of bourbony flavored scotch this one here is completely unique um, and completely unique because it's single barrel so each one of the barrels would be completely unique each one of the bottles could be completely unique um, it's just a nice difference when you're trying to find different flavors and the fact that it's bottled at 47.8 percent really kind of unleashes a lot more flavors the higher the alcohol the more flavors that can kind of carry over um, which is nice, non-chill filter too. So there you have it. If you're looking for complete fruit bombs or just you just want something super sweet, just something to, to appease your palate that says, tonight I don't want peat, tonight I don't want a bunch, a ton of oak, tonight I want bubblegum, fruit, pears, apples, bananas, whatever it may be. These are definitely the fruit bombs that you should, uh, should reach for. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Down below.